As usual, a delicious dinner was had by all that night in the dorm. Wow, rad person makes sweet dinner for all of us. This place is awesome. Ugh, so stuffed. She packs away that food, but she never gains a pound. That stew was terrific, but there's something unusual about it I can't put my finger on. Dina put some leftover pineapple in it. That's why it's sweet, but tangy. I've got to hand it to her. Dina handles leftovers like an iron chef. Her cooking even makes up for all of her other bad habits. You're going to be in hot water if she hears you say that. Do I look like I have a death wish? Sarcasm. She's so snarky. Well, now that our stomachs are full to the Miley Cave, Robin. We have strategizing to do. Let's get strategical. How are we going to take over the school? So, any people in homeroom who haven't joined the club? Hmm, you know, I'm not certain, but honestly, I really don't know anyone we could recruit. Really? Man, some help you are, Harriet. Wh what? You haven't come up with anyone either. And you know lots of people. You should know five. Easy. You could convince. By this time of the year, pretty much everyone's already in a club. And the people who aren't usually have reasons not to be. I suppose it's probably true, but I still think they're our best shot. You know, you're right. It's worth a try. From the mouth of Harriet, oftentimes comes gems. <laughs> she's quick with the idioms, but she's also quick to, like, use and abuse everyone around her all the time. Miley, what is your strategy with this? Let's try to recruit any new students, too. Meanwhile, Harriet's just kind of a sucker to go along with everything. I hope she doesn't overwhelm herself with all of this. Good call. They'd be the easiest. But remember how I can be with strangers. I get shy and tongue-tied. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, a veritable shrinking violet. Ha <laughs> ha. You're just mad because she made a joke about you. Eat it, Miley. Your own medicine. Hey, what's with all the homework stuff scattered around everywhere? Oh, I, I figured I should hit the books. What? Spring break just started. We have way more important things to do. Don't tell me you're the type who starts all of your holiday assignments on the very first day. You are a bad example, Miley. You were getting Harriet to make terrible decisions with her life. Well, yes, and you're the type to leave it all to the last minute and then panic about it, Miley. That's right. You just don't appreciate the thrill of not knowing if you can finish in time. But it's your loss. Well, don't come crying to me at the last minute, Miley. She's gonna come crying to her at the last minute. Hey, you're still up? I figured you were with all the racket. What's up, Dina? Forgot to tell you earlier, but a new girl's moving in tomorrow. She'll be your neighbor. Won't that be fun? Ooh, a transfer student. That's awesome. She's a sophomore, just like Harriet. So be sure you're free tomorrow. May I ask why? To help her move in, why else? I need you two to help with her stuff. Oh, that makes sense. All right, after all, what else is there to do on a lazy Sunday? Plus someone has to watch out for poor old Dina's bad back. Hey, talking about me behind my back? I have ears everywhere. Anyway, new girl, right in the morning. Don't sleep in, got it? Yes, Dina, good night. She walks around like she owns the place. Because she owns the place, so it's totally reasonable for her to do that. Not literally, but might as well own the place. She's kind of running the whole show. Getting people moved in, cooking us food. Sounds legit. Talk about lucky a transfer student. This is our chance. Number one right here. To recruit a new club member. Yeah, just watch me put my silver tongue charm to work. Feel like that's not the best way to make friends. <laughs> we'll just manipulate people to be part of our club. Suckers. Suckers all of them. In the evening, you can move between the Unity Dorm first floor and Miley and Harriet's room. There's more tutorials. We've got the desk. You can either do a homework or call a friend. When you do a homework, one homework assignment will be completed. When you call a friend, your friendship level with the person you called will increase slightly. 
However, you can only call a friend once your friendship level is high enough to obtain their phone number. So I gotta get chatty with these ladies and gentlemen so I can get their digits. This is a... that's pretty much how it works in real life too. Although, I don't know what stops me from like being like, Hey, you go to our school? What's your phone number? I'm gonna call you at night. <laughs> Maybe there's a lot stopping you from doing that. At the table, you can make jewelry or watch TV. If you make jewelry, you perform simple part-time work, increasing money and fatigue levels. So, like, what is my job? Making friendship bracelets and stuff for, like, down by the local fish market or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get my part-time job yet. Okay, and that fatigues us so we can drink tea or coffee, which apparently we still have on us. Maybe it's in a bottle or something. Probably not hot tea. That'd be weird the next day. Choose watch TV to view the program for that day and to increase your skill at that ch chat topic a little. So it's kind of like a roulette, probably. You can watch TV and it'll just up a random stat. And that was the table. So that's the far left of the room. In bed, you can read a magazine or go to bed early. If you read a magazine, you'll read a magazine that you've bought. And you can read a magazine any number of times, but the increase in skill level will reduce from the second reading. And then you can go to bed early to re recover fatigue. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, and you can save your game progress by talking to Harriet. Only save point in the game, so don't forget. We get halfway through the game, forget how to save, like, just turning the whole thing off. This game's over, can't even save. All right, then let's practice taking our first save. We could chit chat about the day too. I really like Italian food, but I wonder if Dina doesn't like it. She never serves Italian. You know, you're right. We never have pasta or pizza or anything like that. What place do you live in? Maybe it's because she's trying to sever all her mafia connections. Yes. Don't make up stuff like that. Because A, it might be true. B, it's a little bit racist against Italians. Everyone can serve in mafias and organized crime. It doesn't matter what ethnicity you are. Okay, so I can use the arrow keys to interact with the spaces around me in kind of a two and a half D sort of way. I don't want to do either of these. X. I can also hit X to open my menu. Okay. What's my repertoire? <laughs> Is this like my... Oh, all my stats. Cool. I am clueless when it comes to romance and fashion and pets and cooking. Good thing I have those pets books. But I know a couple who done it. And I know a little bit of video games. And I'm sporty. Cool. I have one in travel. I went on a whole adventure apparently, but I have plus one in travel. Okay, so desk, table, um, and it's the evening. So, oh, how about we go watch TV? Oh, hitting the wrong confirm button. Watched a political news program. Your politics skill has increased. <laughs> Apparently she's enjoying it. <laughs> she knows more about the world and was snarky for the entire hour of the news program. All right, it is March 23rd. Miley Varese is a go. Kinda. Oh, you're up. Ha, <laughs> you're witnessing the birth of a new me starting today. Really, this should be interesting. Um, I came to let you know that the new girl's arrived. She's on her way from the station, so we should wait for her downstairs. Okay, let's go. New Miley, new, just, I'm gonna be the best. Hmm, this must be it. Unity Dormitory. It's on top of a hill, so the views should be nice. Hey, think that's her? With the glasses? Tight sweater? I have no idea what you're getting so worked up about, but that must be her. Dina didn't mention a dog, though. Hey, over here. Question mark face? Oh, it's exclamation mark face. Oh, um, hello. No need to be shy. Feel free to shout a big hello if you want. Welcome to Unity Dorms. I'm Miley. This is my lovely assistant, Harriet. Nice to meet you. <laughs> assistant, you say? 
Don't listen to her. I'm just her roommate. Oh, I, I see. My name's Sarah Croft. I, I'm your new dorm mate. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's all ours. Looking forward to living with you. We're dorm mates now, so feel free to ask us anything, okay? Oh, but no questions about our criminal operations or any personal details like our real names. <laughs> criminal operations? I thought this was just a dorm. Miley, you are confusing the poor girl. What? I didn't realize I was joking. <laughs> Ignore what Miley said. We'll help you move your things. Now then, let's get you settled in. Th thank you. That's the last of them, right? Yes, thank you. How can I ever repay you? This is day one, and uh, she's already falling into debts with Miley, which is a terrible idea. Miley, we're just happy to help. Anyway, you certainly have a lot of books. Sorry about that. I'd like to read. Readers. Never trust them. Hey, hold it. Don't tell me. This is your mutt. Yes, it is. You know that pets aren't allowed in this dorm, right? It was in your contract. Rude. Dina, come on. Just it's look at it look at how pretty that dog is. She's obviously well maintained. R really? But I'm positive that I read every line before I signed. Well then we have a problem. Drama. Day one drama. I'm so sorry, Sarah. Does this mean I have to send him home? But without him I I get scared. Oh, what should I do? Way to make yet another girl cry, Dina. I don't want to hear it. You know I'm only stating the facts. Not necessarily true in a lot of places. If you are emotionally... Uh, you can have a, a service dog not just for uh, needs of ability, but also emotional needs. And so it only takes like about 100 bucks to license your dog as an emotional service animal. So we could be in the clear. Or we'll probably just talk our way around it. I don't think there's any need for paperwork here. Yeah, well, rules are meant to be broken, aren't they? Besides, wouldn't it be great having a lovable dorm mascot? What in the world are you talking about? Hmm, well, all right. As long as the dog doesn't bother any of the students, I guess it can stay. But the instance it becomes a nuisance. Curb. Get it? Capiche? Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, just take care of it, okay? Oh, Dina's got a sweet spot for puppies. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to my room and start unpacking a little. Okie dokie. See you later then. By the way, dinner here's at 7 p.m., and if you aren't back by then, Dina won't dish out. Oh, and uh, let's have a welcome home party after dinner. You too, Harriet. I wouldn't miss it. Oh, you heading out, Miley? Come now. We have a club to build. Here we go. Yep. Poor Harriet. All right, up and at him. You, come join my club. It's spring break, but we have sports practice in the morning, Miley. You should join a sports club, too. What, and make everyone else look bad? Nah. Little busy with this whole entire game is about making a comedy club? Yo, Dina! Spring break. You guys have it so good. Heard you're forming a school club. Hope you know what you're doing. Make sure you take responsibility for it. I will. What's our... Oh, uh-oh. Changes daily, so we get the same message every time. What is... Hand over your empty bottle. What does that mean? Corner shop collects empty bottles. We buy them by the crate, so we return them by the crate as well. If you collect 10 bottles, I'll send them back for a refund along with the rest. Don't worry, I won't cheat you. Don't spend it all on candy now, okay? Hey! Mom and Pop's Rock Candy Store, right here. Aren't you a bit hold to pretend to be a hero ranger? Rude. Hold on there, don't be so quick to grow up. Oh, Miley on this side, uh, her jacket is reversed. That's a little awkward. Hey, do that thing for us, please. Dances. It's hero ranger's time. Power on, hero ranger Miley, queen of comedy, lady of the laughs. Yeah, we're the best ranger. Well, where to? Where is a good place to make friends? Let's go to Cherry Tree High School. There's got to be someone around here. Even though it's spring break, so maybe it's not the best place to look. Hello there, Miley. What's going on? Do you come here to do your homework? 
I figured you for the type that leaves your homework to the very last minute. I would say something witty back, but he's right. This school is rude. Why do I go to a rude person's school with rude people? Why am I a rude person? Why are people rude? Magazines on the rack change every week. You should drop in and see what they have. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's little uh, arrows with words next to them at the bottom, so we can check the bookshelf. Nothing at the bookshelf. Magazine rack, though. Oh, it'll pass time if we read a magazine. So it sounds like the TV, too. We could do homework here. That is enticing. We do have four pencils worth of homework, apparently. But I really need to get more information about where we are in this area. Can't go into that area. Cherry Tree Town is a giant circle. <laughs> it's very cute looking, I like it. It's a huge bridge going right down the middle, because why not? Not a thing you would ever get in Seattle. You ever played Carcassonne? That's pretty much what Seattle city planning is. It's exactly like that. Oh, we are, uh, sorry, I just randomly picked a new place. Prosperity Shrine? I can't believe Elise goes up and down those stone steps every day. No wonder she has thighs like Chun-Li. <laughs> oh, I guess this would be Elise? Here's the perfect chance to make her jump. You think you're so cool, but now I get to hear you scream. Oh, hi, Miley. Dang it. Huh? How in the world did you know I was here? I sensed a disturbance in the force. What? Me cause a disturbance? I wasn't gonna do a thing. Then why are you so jittery? Just kidding, I heard you talking to yourself at the top. Oh. Just kidding. Heard you talking to yourself at the top stairs. That's how we knew. And here I thought I was the only one doing the spooking around around here. You've got cat's ears, I swear. I don't know about that, but I guess I also have thighs like Chun Li's. You heard that too. Maybe. But enough about me and my thighs. Let me guess. You're here to beg forgiveness for something stupid again, right? It's not like that. Jeez. Make me sound like a total troublemaker. Then why are you here? To see you, of course. I haven't seen you in a while, so I thought I'd pay a visit. And not because I have no idea where I'm at right now. Ah, uh, a social call. And how's the club doing? I'm working on it. Still recruiting new members, though. Really, and so it begins. They say that those who seek to fulfill a desire face 1,000 traps to their left and 10,000 to their right. I guess I'm on a camera, so... Just pretend I did those in the opposite direction, you'd be right. But you're the driven type who succeeds and does not lose their way, so I'm curious to see how it turns out. Always with the philosophy. Is there a single proverb you don't know, Elise? But if there are traps on either side, all I have to do is charge straight ahead. Ah, but be wary of forward momentum, too, as it will make it harder to change course. I'll be praying for you. How? Passive-aggressive. <laughs> oh, before I forget, do you think you could help me tidy the shrine grounds in your spare time? Our part-time helper recently left. I could pay you a little for your time. Man, everyone make me get a job recently. But who am I to turn down a shrine maiden in distress? What the heck, I'll do it. Besides, it'll be fun to wear that shrine uniform. Deal, as long as you do a good job, that means no slacking off. Me slacking off. That never happens. In the afternoon, you can get part-time work cleaning the shrine. It's tiring work, but you receive $10. Okay. But that's only in the afternoon. So I can't do it now. So I guess I'll just run. Run, run, run. Keep forgetting I have that run button. I like it's like a one-button game, besides the back button, which is X. Just hit spacebar for everything. All right. Who's out at the Cherry Tree Station? 